my comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ, I stand. Hi there, in welcome Christ. to this episode of the Faith Series. So today we are going to be talking about. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm through the fiercest drought and Fire. storm. Fire. What? So this is it. Let me say, there's a big picture. Okay. Like that's the end product, right? Your purpose. For example, I want to be an accountant. I want to be a doctor. So we feel like that purpose is the end product. Doctor in Mufeje. Accountant to me. That's the, that's the big picture. picture. That's the main, that's the main thing, thing, right? But you can you can leverage completely on that and keep looking that that's what I want to be. Why neglecting the process? So there's something about um, purpose is process. You have to follow the process. Okay. So first of all, meditation. Meditate in meditate in God's word. Meditate personally, like as a self. Meditate in yourself. I don't want to say meditate in yourself, <laughs> but. Try to take time, like studying, like yourself. studying yourself. Exactly. As I studying the Word of God, study yourself. Do a self evaluation. Know what you like doing. Yes. Know what your you interests. Like correcting. Yes. Where you like going. Exactly. Things you like to talk about. about. Stuff what, like that. What amuses you? What interests you? What, what, what gets you, you angry? What, what and gets you, you angry? And you want to change? What gets you irritated? Those are part of the process. That's knowing yourself. If you don't know yourself. How do you even want to fulfill that purpose? Because it's very easy to do something else that is for somebody else. Yeah. So meditation, self-awareness, self-evaluation is very important. When you are doing self-evaluation, that's when you know your interest, your passion. That is when you know your personality. You know, um, it's also purpose that you are, that you know yourself. Mm. If you don't know yourself, it's very very easy, conveniently to walk in another person's path. Yes. It's very easy to become like copy somebody else. Paste. Yes. Copy and paste. Mm. Damn. No time. <laughs> Read. Very important. Very, very. Read books. Read about things. Explore your explore. mind. Explore. Yes. Explore. It's part of the purpose. It's part of. Okay. Imagine God spoke to you. Like you know God. You meditate with God. Is it okay to now sit down where you are? Whatever your purpose is, will He come and meet you where you are? It will come and meet you. You have to do something about it. Yes. You have to be physically involved in the process. In the process of finding purpose. In fulfilling your purpose. You have to be physically invo involved in it. Yes. You need the guidance and your number one guidance. Oh, God, okay. I mean, what were you expecting? <laughs> you and me. <laughs> so, because in this thing, like we said earlier, we can't, nobody can do it on their own. So, the source is very important. The source is very important. So, God is your number one guidance. Studying His word, everything, prayer, prayer, still communion with Him, communion with Him, meditate in Him, all of God. So, God is your number one guidance. Can we also say? In fulfilling purpose, yes, we are different. So, obviously, we have different purpose. Yeah. But it might just be the same field line. Like now, maybe my purpose is to be a music minister. Okay. We have many music minister. But there's something unique about me, and there's something unique about Dozy. There's something unique about Bass. Mm -hmm. You understand? So can we say, um steps I can actually have a guidance like a physical guidance yes. apart from God knowing God okay. Holy Spirit okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Can you okay. say okay. Yes. yes your other guide you can have a mentor. Yeah. Some um, some of us can't do it alone like that. We need somebody to jeer yeah. us on. It's like saying that you want to keep fit, you know. Uh -huh. You need somebody to support. It might even be a prayer partner. It might be a work partner. It might be a colleague. It might be somebody that you feel, you, you know that oh your paths align together. You get it's so, like holding somebody to encourage. You can even tell someone to help you in yes. that because yes. you know it is possible you don't know everything yes. about yourself. Yes, nobody knows. Yourself. Nobody knows you it all. Know yes, it all. that's that's part of what I'm saying. Like read what people write in books are their experiences. What they have know different opinions exactly uh, some, different some, mind yes be exposed to different things different experiences exactly. of life yes and people and yes. personalities yes some things that you don't need to work in that line before you have the experiences if you read from somebody else if you ask questions you would know already and you might even 
mistake you're supposed to make okay fine yes we are bound to make mistakes we are human but there are some or should i say little mistakes that you might likely make and reading books might direct your path okay this is what i'm supposed to do this is what i'm not supposed to do so reading and exploring or exposing your mind mm -hmm. can also help exactly have an open mind have an open mind those are the receptive steps mind. have a receptive mind be welcoming to to things ask questions ask questions be open talk people. to people be welcoming that's one that's one thing i was saying in that video about embracing change yeah I, um, I don't know if i said it in that video but i guess i cut it out i was talking about peter when god told him to eat a particular meat and uh, or when is when god told him not to eat it god told him first not to eat it and he, because it was like why god said it was unclean so not. And another time, the same means that he told you that you should not eat. It's that you should not eat. He said you should eat it. And Peter was arguing. Ah, ah, you said well, I should not eat this thing. Ah, you are telling me to eat it. And it's like, what me I created? You are calling it unclean. Okay. This is my point. In that video, I was talking about being aligned with God part time. It's part of. It's part of the purpose process. You can't plan for him. He's going to plan for you. So exactly. he can change. He can decide yes. to change the plan. Yes. That yes. Okay. He told you already. You are going to Abuja. You can say okay. Well, see why you are going to Kaduna. Mm -hmm. You are not mm -hmm. going to Abuja again. So you have to embrace that change. change. Yes. Like follow it step by step. Know that it's at work in you both to be and to do. So whatever is instructing you to do, it's it's part of the plan. Now instructing. I don't mean the Lord will tell you and descend from above because all these words make it look to people as if it's gigantic, <laughs> like it's big deal. It's not big deal. God instructing you, God talking to you. That's why I said if you know God, if you meditate, you know how you communicate. It's not until you comes down and descend, my son, my son, my son, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. It's not like that. As far as like as as little as it's not little. But as I don't know which person to qualify it, but as little as inner peace, we we underestimate that so much. We feel like it's in dreams, vision, trance, alone, in direct instructions that God God speaks to us. Your inner peace is part of. He said your spirit bears witness with the spirit. Once it once your spirit can bear witness, you know that you have that inner conviction, inner peace that oh the path you are taking is the correct right. path. It's right. Research. Yeah, research. So in line with what you just said, we can say that it's part of it. Okay, what I have here now is like I make research. You don't know it all. You don't know it all. And God talking to you, he can talk to you via somebody else. He can talk to you from Google. You tell the God is not everywhere. He can talk to you from Google. Me. I, I Google things. If I'm having clear, um, something that is not clear, as much as what is my purpose, I can type it on Google. I type anything on Google. It's true. Because I know that a lot of people's experiences, a lot of people's wisdom that they share also, knowledge is on there, is right there for me to, you know, make you feed on. Yes, for me to feed on. It's something that can help my own growth also. That stage that you think you have, that you feel like, Every, not, nobody has passed through it. Yes, like nothing is working. Like nobody has gone through it. Like you're the only one. Like you're the only one in it. Like you're tired. Like you don't even know your purpose. What's my calling and all that? Some people, a lot, millions of people have passed through that purpose before, right? Nothing is new. Not that yes, so there's new. yes, sun and earth. There's nothing new under as far as it's under. There's nothing new. Absolutely nothing. So why not leverage on? You, they said um, you step on giant shoulder or something. Leverage on people that have, been, have passed through that process, that have been there. It it goes a long way. Wow. So meditate, research, pray, pray, pray. Very important. Prayer is very important. When I when I know God, right? I pray to God. I communicate with Him. I'm and also questions. get the mentor. Yes, I think we said it earlier. If that was what worked for you, and it doesn't have to be physical. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can just yes, you can focus you on Joyce Mayer if you feel like oh I think I'm also in that line. You get you don't just jump from one place to another also. You if you if you have done self evaluation you will know who to follow. You will know which path you are taking. You are operating in the prophetic and you are following somebody that is operating in prosperity. <laughs> I'm just using as an instance right exactly. exactly. I mean you want to be an accountant and you keep following a doctor all through your life. <laughs> che is a... Uh, How uh -huh. do you want to, you know, collaborate it together? You want to use stethoscope inside the bank? Abby, you want to use it inside the office? <laughs> so, you, if you do a self-evaluation, self you, you will know who to follow, who not to follow. Yes, and you will know 
you you can get results for it from anywhere also. Take take it one step at a time. There's no pressure on you. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't be calming down. Yes. <laughs> Let's be calming down. You get God, God himself is not rushing. She's not, just take your time. She just calm down. Just calm down. Yes, it's my people. My you are thirty years. Kill on shit. What are you doing? No pressure. Be there from family, friends, even your inner self exactly. and everything. Exactly. Just make sure you are calm. Because exactly. if you are not calm, you just end up doing yes. what you are not supposed yes. to do. Yes, exactly. The purpose, the purpose that you are pursuing, eventually you will not be able to even do it. it. Exactly. So one step at a time. Know that when you have the assurance that oh. God does not waste resources. I'm not a waste. He can create something that he will not use. So nobody's useless. So you know that you are you are called for a purpose. You are useful. You are you have a reason. Take it one step at a time. You can't rush it. There is process. There is stage to this thing. Yeah, you rush it too. Yeah. <laughs> rush it to everyone. <laughs> not to rush to everyone. When you get the So the next question. Do I? <laughs> oh my God. So I think the next one is really. Yes, yes. Breaking transmission. Every evil spirit will bind you. Fire. Okay. 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 Okay.